This tutorial will walk you through the steps of creating your first IAR project. So we go to the project menu, create new project, and expand the C option and choose main. Okay. Now it is asking you for the directory. Uh, it is highly recommended that you create all your projects on the C drive. So make sure you are on the C drive and then create a project folder. I am calling it tutorial. And then the file name. And save. And as you see, it created an automatic um, C program for you. Only has the main function. And here you can modify this program, as we will see shortly. Uh, let's take a quick look at the environment in IAR. So in order to compile this program, you go for F7. Or you go to Project and choose Make. When you choose Make, you also have to give a name. And now it starts compiling and zero errors. Okay. Uh, we want to set some options for the board we are using. Okay, so we go to project and then go to options. And here in uh, the general options, if we want to choose a device that we are using, we choose device and then here look for Texas Instruments and then TM4C and then look for the board which is TM4C123 GH. 6 p.m. There it is. Okay. So we set the device under the C, C++ compiler. Make sure the language is C and the dialect is C99. And if we scroll Go to the optimization bar and make sure that the level is low. Otherwise, some programs will not work correctly if you have a high optimization compiler. Okay, and then we need to go to the debugger. And then here, you are either using the IAR simulator or if you are downloading the program to your board, then you need to choose TI Stellaris. Okay. Since we chose TI Stellaris, you will notice it will appear on the main menu. If we were using the simulator, the simulator will be replacing this TI Stellaris. Okay, so now we compile the program. Again, you can use F7 all the time uh, to um, compile the program. Uh, once it's compiled, no errors. And zero errors. Now you can enter the debugger mode. And here it says download and debug. OK. 
Okay, now you notice here we have this assembly window. Here we uh, let's go to view. So make sure we have the disassembly, it's there. Memory, open the memory. And then let's see the register. And we can also check the locals for local variables. Okay. So this is how the debugger looks like. And from here, you can step into a program. Or if you want to stop debugging. So I'm going to stop debugging for now. OK, now let's write simple program, compile it run it okay I'm gonna pause and come back after I write a program so I'm gonna pause for two seconds okay so here's a program that updates a counter variable and um, this count uh, just counts up to 10. Okay, so now we can compile zero errors, debug, and you can see the program here in the disassembly, and you can step and check uh, what is going on uh, here. You will, you will notice how the registers are changing. Okay. If you want to set any breakpoint, then this is how you would use it. Let's stop debugging. Let's modify this program to include pointers. Okay, so I modified the program and included a pointer pint, which points to count. And then instead of updating count, we are incrementing count through the pointer pint, as you see here. Okay, let's compile. And debug. Now you notice here in the locals window, the p int variable showed up because we have one local variable in our program. Okay. And now we can step, and you notice, you notice the count is changing, and also the registers are changing. So p int is in register R zero. continue stepping you notice R1 is changing is incrementing okay we can extend this P int to show the value ok 
okay and you can keep stepping into and then if you want to finish you can hit go and go basically takes you to the end of the program okay let's stop debugging okay so i paused again to update the program and then i came back so what i did is i am trying to write something directly to a memory address which is memory address to 0000, 000 which is the beginning of the ram of the tiva board so after uh, the loop I basically said pint equals um, this memory address. Okay, so I'm trying to point to that memory address. And then let's compile and see if this is going to work or not. There is an error. It's complaining here. It doesn't like it this way. So the only way to make this work is by enforcing type casting. So you have to let's comment this one and then use this type casting and now it should compile. And then after this step, we're trying to write the word dead beef into this particular memory address if you notice dead beef it's all hexadecimal okay so let's compile again no errors now let's download okay so here is the memory in the memory view if you make it 4x units you will see every four bytes so it will combine every four bytes for you okay so the the column uh, to the left this is the memory address and then uh, the four the four columns to the right are the contents of the memory okay so now we want to see memory address to and seven zeros okay and now let's step into program and you notice this location is changing the, this is the counter okay it's, it's updated three four and keeps increasing so we're still executing the while loop and now Here's the dead beef. Okay. Now we can stop the debugging. And this is how you would access the memory. And make sure that you have the typecasting included. Okay. Thank you.